All right, welcome back, and uh, <clears throat> Angels coming down. Uh, another track that I heard uh, <clears throat> the other day, and it was part of my uh, fabulous snowballing failure uh, uh, reaction night. And hell, so much, so much bummer. I took a day off. I did because I can't. <clears throat> I'm not a. I'm not a jump through hoops. I can't turn it on and off, and I don't want to spend the whole day ranting about uh, crazy stuff, even though I think we could spend the next year ranting about crazy stuff. So it was weird. And then I got triggered, not triggered, but I was like, I don't like to make comparisons, but this part, I really wanted to go down a, a musical rabbit hole. Uh, BOC has got a section in a song and it, they're, they're just, it just seems like note to note the same. And, and, uh, it's very interesting. That was it. Right. And I didn't, I was like, I don't think I can spend the time making that connection, but I really liked, even though they're simple, I really liked these driving ass. Uh, I think they're punk. I mean, I do. I think this is the kind of stuff that, well, all right. I, I just watched this weird discussion between Sebastian Bach and, uh, the hell was it Bon Jovi or no Twisted Sister God Dean it turns out I I'm not sure I got a, I got a winner in this discussion but it was a genres labels and I think a normal average person uses this language to try to speak break down closer to what they're talking about and try to explain it. I don't think most people imply any sort of derogatory anything. So, um, outside of the language police people, uh, and, um, you know, pronunciation cults, uh, I, th I thought it was real interesting because Sebastian Bach was, uh, defending, uh, uh, genres, uh, D was like they're an insult and uh, to, to pigeonhole people. And, and I don't know what he was talking like. He was an independent fucking artist. And, you know, he they he, you know, we know that that you know, I like Twisted Sister a shit ton, but they're a contractual arrangement. I think guitarist and uh, D basically went out and said, we're going to do this. Here's our gimmick. Here's our sound. It's kind of why the sound didn't match the gimmick as well as you'd think. I've had plenty of people listen to the first two Twisted Sister albums. And then you show them, uh, like, we're not going to take it video. And they just, they didn't think that that rock and sha na na ask feel was coming from, you know, that go them goofballs with that makeup but that that was a it was a gimmick just like the, the heroin chic guys or the you know the uh straight edged punkers or you know you know whatever whatever so and then i you know i had this boc moment to come full circle and get the hell back on the reaction but uh it was weird it was really weird but i really like this tune so many this are what's my so few and so long I so much for big brother never so many are what's my so few and so long I so much for big brother so long I so much for big brother for so long I so much for big brother for so long I so much for big brother for so long I so much for big brother
And then there you go. So for uh, bus riders and, and actual followers of the channel, I'm not talking about fair weather fans and reaction junkies, which bless your hearts. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with just digging a straightforward reaction. I'm just not going to, I can't be that guy. Obviously it, uh, the closer I get to having to be that guy to move forward, the more I kick and scream. So I just, obviously it's just not my gig, uh, being a goofball and, and noticing the big brother line and then wanting to go off about the stages of, uh, um, well, 78 to 2022 and the topic hasn't had to change yet. So then uh, my argument would be, you know, anyone working towards Big Brother's agenda has not been paying attention for a shit long time. Just a, a, a lost 78. Now, I'm not saying he's referencing uh, how he's using it exactly. I'm saying the line comes from, you know, and uh, come on, should have made Orwell fiction the whole time, but almost do it be in reality hey but i was never good at math anyway so what do i care so few and so long by so much oh, big brother. 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 looks like it's coming down on me looks like it's coming down Looks like it's coming down on me, down on me, down on me. Looks like it's coming down on me. Looks like it's coming down on me. Looks like it's coming down on me, down on me, down on me. Looks like it's coming down on me. Looks like it's coming down on me. And that scene in this video, I think of a couple of the subscribers or followers or fans of the channel, and I imagine them being much younger, shaking what they got at an Angels concert. And it makes me smile on the inside. It takes away all the crazy for a moment, and I realize that all everything aside, your fans, your Australian fans are amazing. Nothing in my insane takeaways should disparage anyone as a group. Yeah, no, I mean, I admit I'm, <clears throat> I'm narrowing down uh, group thinking mass psychosis. And I mean insanity, not just to people that are scared and been, been confused. But I mean, I admit that uh, cult-like thinking everywhere <clears throat> will become a... Uh, uh, Yeah, no, I mean, there's no free pass there. But uh, outside of that, mm, what kick-ass fans. And I, 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 I'm I, going to segue here. Just so, so I was struggling in the last video. I had to look up some information. I was trying to remember who Stevie Wright sang for. I couldn't remember. Did I know. Shame. I don't have enough easy beats down, and it was sort of this weird side thing to fill in a question from, uh, you know, a Dire straight song, which is really mushroomed into, uh, uh, you know, a whole field of weird questions in the dark. It just don't smell <clears throat> bad. Uh, so realizing that it's the easy beats, and I'm, I'm, it's, it's the anniversary of a couple reactions. Uh, I, I want to, I want to think back on, yeah, the wretched tale of little Stevie Wright. And here's the thing, drug induced coma and electroshock. It is, uh, it is serious serious reflection time on that anniversary because who what a what a toll that um these choices create and consequences that some of us are 
should be grateful we've never had to experience. So, keep going to get interesting. Going to go back and do a little more. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be about a, man, the energy in the next video has been blowing my mind. So, we're going to finish this one. But it's coming down to, uh, yeah, that lady makes me think of Grumpy for some reason. I don't know why. She just does. So, you know, I mean, I have to project stuff onto thumbnails and, you know, there's no, you know, no identifying markers except for our language. <clears throat> so, you know, obviously, <clears throat> you don't got to use your imagination. I do. I'm just saying. If I think of Grumpy, I think of this. Yep. I'm like, that's probably Grumpy back in the day. And, and honestly, worst reactor of the year. If it's coming down on me, I'm willing to hold the trophy high. Yay, I did it, Mom. Bottom of the world. Worst reactor ever. <laughs> I'm mostly playing. <laughs> Not really, though. <laughs> the angel's coming down, and uh, we're going right over to the easy beat. So I'll uh, be right back. <laughs> 